make a paw print of a current pet that you have with you, as well as a pet that's passed. So a lot of times you'll get from your veterinarian one of these uh, clay impression molds from your pet's paw print. So we're also gonna learn how to make um, a paw print from this. But we're gonna start with a pet that's with you. So we'll see how nice Paris decides to be. Hey, thanks for joining in. So um, she looks very happy, right? <laughs> she, she's actually in renal failure and she's doing really good considering um, but we're gonna do her paw print first. So um, with hers, we're going to use um, this little ink pad. It's a mess-free ink pad that you can get off Amazon um, or I think at some of the craft shops. So um, it's mess-free because only one side has ink and the other one does not. So we're gonna try this with, with Paris and see if she behaves. <laughs> All right, so. I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay. And here we go. Okay. So we're going to use the mess free ink pad here to do a paw print on Paris, my kitty. So um, I'll show you where I got this from in a minute, but let's just go ahead and make this. So you're going to want to put your pets um, paw on top of it. Let's see how she behaves. Good girl, Paris. Okay, good girl. And just kind of press down. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, she's very mad at me now. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, okay. It worked. So um, we have her little print here. So now you can use this um, to create artwork. And um, some people want to DIY and create their own, or some people will hire an artist like me or one of my other friends to do like paw print jewelry, or um, they can do a paw print memorial piece like um, these ones that I make. So that's the paw print here, and then a piece of fur and a wax seal with, with or without ashes, depending on if the client wants that or not. And here's my own boy, Jack that I had um, created the etching of from a photo I had. So anyway, back to the paw print. Um, for his paw print, I didn't think to get one beforehand. So unfortunately, all I had was this thing here. So um, this is actually from my, my kitty cat, um, but I had one like this for um, Jack, my dog. And so I was thinking, okay, great. How am I gonna get this to this, <laughs> right? Um, because I, it's like pressed in. So I don't know how to make like a stamp of it. So I tried a couple different products and um, decided that this one here was the best. So I got this from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They also sell it on Amazon. And um, this was the best one. It was the less, me less messy that I found for the paw print. So um, I took this and then made that mold, which we're gonna do right now. So um, if you put these together, you'll see what I'm doing here. So <clears throat> we're gonna do this in just a second. We're gonna mix together this and then you press it into the, um, into the, the clay mold like this and then it has to dry for like half hour. And then when it comes out, you have the opposite of this impression here. So this in, in effect is like a stamp. So um, <laughs> thanks Ruth, you're so nice. <laughs> um, and thanks Anne for watching and for everybody else who is here. Um, so let's go ahead and proceed with this and show you how to do this. So for a pet who's no longer with you, if you have one of these, this is how you can make a stamp. So you can, um, you can do like this and you can like stamp it on whatever you want, right? So you can do a DIY project or you can have an artist create jewelry or artwork with the paw print. Um, so I highly, highly, highly suggest that if you can now get a paw print from a pet who's currently with you, 
with one of these mess free um, like I just did for Paris. For those of you watching, if you missed it, go back to the beginning. Um, these are the mess free ones for doggies or kitties you have with you now. So I just, um, this is the ink side. So I put the ink side down on the paper and I put Paris's paw on top of it and pressed hard. Um, not too hard, but hard enough so it would go through like this. So this is ideal, right? Um, she's still with us, so I got that from her. So now I have her paw print, and then um, I'm gonna go through and show you now how to make a um, paw print from an impression that you have like that. So the product is a silicone mold, silicone putty, sorry, and it comes in two different um, little jars of ingredients. And so they don't activate until you put them together. So um, the first step would be to um, put together however much material you need here. Um, and they give you a heads up that uh, this works pretty fast, like it dries pretty quick. So you only have, once you open this up and you get it going, you only have like three minutes before it hardens. So um, you have to ha make sure that you have everything together, right? You have your impression mold and you have um, some paper or something to put it on. And you have the materials here. Um, and they say gloves. Um, I didn't happen to bring those out and I'm just used to getting my hands dirty because, as you can see from the etchings that I make. Um, so I don't mind getting my hands dirty. So we're going to mix these together. Actually, there's more tape here. And at the end here, I'm going to show you guys um, the products again so you can see. All right, so I'm going to grab some of this out. And it's kind of like playing with Play-Doh a little bit. Um, I'm going to use like, let's see, I don't need all of that. So I'm going to use about half of this. I'm going to grab that and put the rest away very tight so it doesn't keep activating that. And then I'm going to get, um, whoopsie, now this is what you would want to not do. <laughs> Make sure that you take the tape off of this before you open the other one. All right, so now we're gonna take out about half of this guy here. Again, the consistency is kind of like Play-Doh, interesting. And then they say that you mix these together until, um, until you have one color, right? So you don't have white and you don't have purple, you have one color together. So it takes quite a bit of kneading, as I remember from last time. So you just keep working this in together and twist it a little bit and keep um, kneading it together. And then we're gonna put it on top of this little clay mold I have with the paw print. Once I get this all mixed in extra good, and then I'm gonna press it into the impression and um, I'll have to let it sit for about 25 minutes, it said. And then um, we will end up with one of these guys here, which is in effect a stamp that you can use to stamp a paw print onto anything you need. So if you wanna DIY some kind of special project to remember a pet by, or if you want to um, send that stamp over to an artist to create something special for you, then you have that done, so. I'm almost done kneading this. Almost done, there we go. And um, give a thumbs up if you guys find this helpful. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to make a prop print of your own if you don't already have one. Okay, so this looks pretty mixed in, right? You don't see the white anymore. So the white and the purple are all mixed in. So now we wanna roll it into a ball and then we're gonna flatten it just slightly. And let's see, it's about ready, there we go. So, um, hey Mason, thanks for watching. Um, so here we go, so we've got this into a ball and then we're gonna flatten it a bit 
and then I'm going to place it over this paw print here and then I'm going to press it into the actual mold so um, it's kind of going over the mold a little bit which is okay um, and I had tried this other product which was like total liquid and it made this huge huge mess so this is the one that I highly recommend instead silicone putty all right so I think I've pressed it pretty hard in here so it should be down into the grooves of that paw print impression that's there um, okay so great that was all it took so that wasn't too hard right so it was just this and then inside of it were the two different materials together and then I just opened those up and I mixed them in to one um, like piece of play-doh in effect and then pressed it into the impression mold and then um, you come out like this with a stamp so let me grab my stamp pad real quick okay so let's test this out right um, let's use this is the other one that I had already made so it's completely dry and then um, I'm gonna press it into the stamp pad here and then it's gonna be inked and then I'm gonna do a little bit more and kind of swish it in there to make sure that all of this is inked well okay so pretty good um, actually I'm gonna do a little bit more can you see here where the ink is and is not so it needs a little bit more over here so I'm gonna press that area more into the ink pad and then I remember last time from making this that you kind of want to go around the edges and um, just kind of take out the extra ink that's on the part you don't want to be stamped and then you'll have to just kind of experiment with it um, I remember from when I made this before um, so let's go ahead and place this down and see what we have so that was where the little pad was and then we're gonna do those three and then the nice thing is um, yeah there okay perfect right can you guys see it right here so um, we have the pad and then the four little things and then um, you can always clean it up later with uh, you could put it into Photoshop or any program like that and you can kind of take out any little pieces that you don't want but um, now the nice thing is you have a stamp that you can use to place this onto um, a DIY type of project um, to create a special memorial with a paw print or if you want to send it to an artist um, like myself where I make these with the paw print and the etching from the photo here um, then it's nice to have that um, so you can create a special memorial whether you do it yourself or not um, so yeah this product I had gotten off Amazon or one of the craft stores and then the other little one um, this one here with the mess free ink pad that I use for my kitty print I did at the beginning of this video um, I got off Amazon as well and it was called the baby hand print and footprint ink pads so um, they tell you how to use it and everything here but it's just super simple so there's a side with ink the red side that says stop and there's a sign I'm sorry a side without the ink and that's where you put your cat or dog's paw down and then it presses through to the ink um, onto the paper which um, let's see where did that go there it is a little Paris's paw print so um, if that helped you guys give it a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions um, feel free to post um, here